so that is you can see that is our front page or home page you can see here you got there are two button paid portal and use course we can work any kind of thing on the paid portal okay we can implement uh, any kind of features and other things on the paid portal and in the views course we can build our courses right now you can see i am not logged in so at first i need to log in on there okay so let me so now i am logged in okay for well, without logging you can't purchase any kind of course from there so I created a new account up there. You can see my email uh, user ID has been there. I can you change it by our name. So just provide my name. I can update this feature. You can see we created this. Okay, here any kind, uh, anyone can uh, update their profile if they want to change their password. They can also do that things. Okay, then update this. Okay, log profile successfully updated. Even we can change our password, email address, or other things. So let's go to the main section. Okay, that is the our home page, paid portal, views, course portal, and whatever you want. You can see our features course here. All category course is displayed on there. We can uh, define the category like Python only. Python course will be displayed on there. Only PHP course will be displayed on there. Only React course will be displayed as it is like a Java, Angular, and even whatever we actually want. Here we can also access our courses from there. Every course is in Python section, every Python course is there. Okay, now we have this feature also, and if we want to browse this feature, we can also browse this course. Okay, let's before going to the function, let me introduce something. We have the about our space, contact us space, and my course space. Okay, right now I created my account so that I can access my course space. So if I access my course space, right now I doesn't enroll any kind of course. Okay, so it's free zero course because I recently created a new account from there. Okay, when I browse all course, you can see we come here on the, our course space. So here I can browse our course. And here I can define the category Python. So only Python course will be also displayed on there, uh, and we can define this as a filter. This as a category price. Okay, only free course will be displayed on there. Okay, what I can can do the main feature of our LMS website that we can purchase uh, any kind of course and watch the course from the website. Okay, so suppose this is our course. Okay, now it's a free course so that. We can enroll this, but before that, let me show you something here. We can see that define the overview of the courses. Description will be look like this, and the curriculum. Okay, there is something that that is our intro video. So when I click this, one video will be display on there, but on there this video is locked because is or we doesn't enroll this course. Okay, so when I uh, over our mouse on there, it say enroll this course for unlock this video okay we put this uh, message on there okay and it's locked and here you can see the time duration and it will uh, totally summarize summed all videos uh, duration and it will display on there the total course duration okay then it also submit a lecture so we have the right now we include the just only six lectures okay then language we can define the expert level, a uh, skill level actually, expert or beginner or advanced, whatever you need. And deadline of the course is lifetime, certificate is yes, and we can share this course also. And about the instructor section, we can find that the instructor section actually that is the instructor bio, instructor name, and description. According to this, let's open another course. Right now, let's open a paid course, maybe, maybe, maybe this one. Here you can see a different is a uh, different instructor. Okay, so uh, the course name will be displayed here, and it's totally dynamic. Uh, so that is a paid course. So here, for the free course, we define a rule, and for the paid course, we define uh, another rule. Okay, so here you can see the uh, discount percentage, and after discounting this, it's only show the discounted price. Okay.
how much of video duration actually you provide it will count from this okay and here also on video is block and on it we can display. when i click this it will be display so as this uh, we can also the same things and you can see everything is dynamically done as you can see our instructor is also different because every course in instruction every course instructor what we define it will be displayed there okay if we enroll a free course okay we define the condition that if we enroll a free course it will come in our enroll course pages okay that's it usually you can see is uh, we have zero courses because we create a new account but right now we enroll this course so right now we have a account so after this just open this and you can see previously it's for enroll this course but right now the button is gone and it's say that already enrolled so that we can play this so our video is mainly curriculum so there is a syllabus of the curriculum and we can here you can see this video is was locked but now is totally open and we can access this so that is our intro video but we can now access our logged video so log video so so that's it we can add different kind of videos on there so now what we can do if we uh, open a paid course okay suppose it's a paid course so i define a rule that if someone uh, enroll a uh, free course to so this course price is zero they will directly redirect to my course pages okay as you will see that okay and they can access all their uh, mainly user can see all their enroll course on there okay and even you go to the course section you can also see that the course is enrolled already enrolled especially so that is the concept but when we uh, enroll a paid course this course price is 2500 okay so just enroll this and now you can see previously we when we click the enroll video in the course it's redirect also to my course page but it doesn't redirect to my course page it's redirect to checkout page we need to fill up all the form and after that let me do something and you can see that our uh, we also provide uh, in account section our first and last name so it already uh, detect our first and last name from the our profile okay so it doesn't need to uh, put this name too many times even the email address I mean we can change the billing address also whatever you want so this is the concept and we can suppose so after that you can see your order uh, our course name is react development course our course name also will be updated on there and the total price discount and you can see the total price is five thousand and the, after discounting fifty percent its price is twenty five hundred okay now we can select the bank mobile banking account checkout payments cash on delivery or paypal whatever is it so i am using their uh, mart center account okay then just when i will place order uh, user will place the order they will redirect to a checkout page right now i add the checkout page as just for the demo purpose okay so like in this there but when you uh take merchant account okay from any merchant service website okay any company merchant company then you can put their uh, credential keys on there and you can use the merchant on there okay right now i am using a demo account so that uh, you can see only this space okay so that's it so after successfully enroll a paid course it will go to our admin dashboard okay and when we actually mark this as paid okay after that uh, we check that uh, is totally paid then it will be redirect to users course okay so let's go to the our admin dashboard that's only can access by the admin so that is our admin dashboard okay previously we create a student account or user account and right now we have a in the admin dashboard okay so what we can do uh in the admin section we can uh see our users Obviously, that is our users. Okay. Now, then, remove then, and that is our models. Actually, from there, obviously, we are in a course. Uh, so, in the payment section, our paid course will be displayed on there. Right now, we doesn't uh, enroll a paid course. Okay. We just uh, show you uh, for the demo purpose only.
okay now in the either course this course uh, you guys already are uh, enrolled you can manage the users course like we can right now we have only four courses on there as uh, you can see only four courses and everything is dynamically so from here you can see here we can add the feature code then feature emails title course title we can define our author right now we have two authors we can also add more authors from there from there we can add multiple authors on there for the multiple quotes mainly this is the course owner who actually make this course okay the teacher's name then the category okay which category this course will become then label you can practice that we can define the labels then description we have course you will show that you can see uh, we have the description this description will be written on there okay on there then the price language deadline discount after giving the price discount will be calculated this course price is totally free because we put this price is zero okay for this course but on the other course it doesn't uh, put this zero or we put the uh, paid price okay right now you can see here how many videos on the view will be displayed on the curriculum one two three four five six videos on there so we'd add six videos on there according to our nest and as you can see how many videos actually you want and you need to define the lessons we need to actually create the lessons and just add the lessons from there okay even you can do any kind of mistake you can just uh, have a edit button also there as i defined that uh, title youtube ID, you can define and course video it will uh, totally uh, sum all the courses and it will display on the total course video channel there and you can also define the preview course which will be preview so that we uh, make this on the first video anyone can see but others video if you if anyone want to see that they can they will need to enroll this course must and we can also delete option also so we have a full learning management system there as you can see and in the back end uh, there is uh, using the Django it's a python based framework Django Django is a framework that is based on python programming language okay so that is our Django website Django learning management system